Information we've gathered indicate that fire has raised some markets at uh, Kumasi Dagomba line where we are told that the fire disaster, some have attributed it to the collapse of a high tension pole. Numerous structures were raised by ravaging fire, rendering hundreds of people homeless. Several properties were also lowered to ashes. William Evans Inkum has filed this report. So the victims have attributed the cause of fire to the collapse of this high tension, which is still lying idle. According to them, the moment it collapsed, it triggered that particular fire. A number of structures have been consumed by the ravaging fire. But the fire service is here to confirm as to whether indeed the collapsed high tension really caused this particular disaster. It will be been a unsa ha action. In the air by no dun dum. I feel a unsa high tension either. I tear it and it's a black sea and I'm out for the drone. And to us, fire service by no moon in the be I'm wearing it. I'm the far back. And to be more for Katie, I'm on a wearing it. I'm a buyer and a boom so moon you can't let you know when I got to the police station. And to honor crown on moon you can't cramp and to your pushy pushy kiosk be on Sana or to New York for crap. Say now, Mano Cry and Dor and I side a drone of Mano Ed and Edu there is still blaze from the debris. We still do not know the cause of fire, but I can also report that firefighters have been finding it very difficult to douse the fire completely. I've seen people going around trying to salvage something. It's just not happening. Some are also have taken it upon themselves to douse the Rabbit in fire and perhaps ensure that the little that they have is salvaged. This is home to many quarters who operate within the Kumasi metropolis. It's not new, and we're talking about fire disasters. This particular play, that is the Gumba line, is not new to this very predicament. William Evans Inku for TV3 News, the Gumba line, Kumasi. All right, let's get a quick update on that. And uh, William Evans Inkum has joined us via phone. William, good evening. Thank you. Uh, have they been able to control the fire now? It's still very difficult, um, Martin. The blazing from the debris is still real. I mean, one of the fire tenders that came in as a reinforcement is finding it very difficult to access the problem area. And that is because no access point. In fact, the first pattern that was able to make its way to the problem area had to run over some of these, I mean, burning structures to be able to access the place. It's a slam, and there are no access point or one with the aisle to, uh, I mean, several um, connected structures as far as um, this particular area is concerned, Martin. Have you been able to ascertain, I mean, talking to the residents, we are hearing it could be uh, um, you know a high tension pole that fell is that really what caused it have you been able to get any information from the fire service the fire service is um they, they, they haven't confirmed that as the main cause of fire but speaking to some of the victims around one of them told me that they heard a big noise and that came from the collapsed um high tension pole immediately after that then they saw something triggered like uh, a lighting and the whole place was engulfed in flames. So they are attributing the cause of fire to the collapse high tension. But as to whether that has been ascertained or um, that, that, that particular I mean, uh, collapse has been uh, linked to this particular later disaster, mm. it is yet to be ascertained. But, um, All right. And finally, can you give us a, a mental picture of how the place looks like i mean is it like a marketplace a slum or is just a you know a regular residential area so there is a home to the i can say if i'm not exaggerating then all the headquarters operating within the kumasi metropolis that is where they reside so it's one of the you mean the headquarters in the, the kaya metropolis Martin. you mean the kaya the kaya the yes. headquarters okay so that's where most of them reside 
almost if I'm not exaggerating, I can tell about ninety five percent of them reside in this particular area. All right, certainly we'll be coming back to you for an update on this. Uh, William Evans Inkum is our Ashanti Regional Correspondent with an update on that fire we are told um, engulfed major parts of the uh, Dagomba line. Uh, the fire service have arrived and are trying to douse the flames.